Welcome to the Tech Minute, I'm Titania Jordan. This week, we're looking at a massive new deal that will help the growing demand for generative AI. Thanks to Angus Lowton from the Wall Street Journal for this story. Data storage startup Databricks agreed to acquire startup Mosaic ML in a deal that is valued at roughly $1.3 billion. The goal of the acquisition is to capture the fast-growing demand from businesses to build their own ChatGP tools. Databricks, which is based in San Francisco, stated that the deal combines its AI-ready data management technology with Mosaic ML's language model platform. This will allow businesses to create language models themselves at a low cost. Currently, most businesses rely on third-party language models that are trained on publicly available data that is accessed online. Mosaic ML, also based in San Francisco, was created to bring down the cost of generative AI. Companies like Anthropic and OpenAI license language models to businesses, which then build generative AI apps on top of the model. As we are all aware, the demand for generative AI has exploded in the last year, creating an opening for businesses that can offer customized AI models that are lower in cost. If you're building a model from scratch, you know what you're feeding it, said Databricks chief executive, Ali Ghosti. Off-the-shelf models are ready to use because they have already been trained on internet data and are filled with extraneous information that can skew results, Goetze said. He said that many companies are also wary of privacy and security issues around sharing their data and models built by outside vendors. Databricks technology is designed to help leaders get their data prepared for AI models by managing business data for AI applications while unifying data, analytics, and AI programming tools in one system. Databricks makes money by renting out Analytics AI and other cloud-based software to build enterprise tech systems. Last year, Databricks reported more than $1 billion in annualized revenue. For more on this story, click the link below. That's all for today's Tech Minute. See you next week.